Hey guys, this is Peter, and today we have a really short video. You know, a lot of you asked me some good questions about 5G, how fast it could be, and what the equipment looks like. You know, some of you saw equipment in your neighborhoods and said, is that what I'm looking for? Well, you know, a lot of the specs are still, well, pardon the pun, but up in the air. So I wasn't sh quite sure what I was looking for. So I just kind of drove around with my phone. I have a new Samsung um, S21, and it's a great little phone does 5g so i'd look at my 5g bars and when i got good signal i'd look for a radio tower of some sort and i went ahead and measured them so the first one i ran into was in downtown san jose and this is a beast this one looks like it has every single company's equipment up on it and yeah it looks pretty impressive and i ran a speed test on it and i gotta say it was pretty darn good i got 256 megabit down and almost 60 up now that's pretty impressive but that's not what i was expecting 5g to look like i was expecting 5g to look more like this one you know a top up power pole and much more common these would be every couple of blocks now this is what i was expecting to see i saw this one got as close as i could to it and did a speed test and here's what i got i got 166 megabits per second down 30 up so i was kind of disappointed by that i thought it would be screaming faster but i did notice in every neighborhood where i found these ones which i'm going to call repeaters because I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's uh, repeating a box of some kind. It looks like there is a directional piece up there, kind of a little drum piece here. Uh, this one looks omnidirectional, and that one looks directional. Just guessing. Oh, and this one looks like it's pointing down for something. Anyway, we're not sure what all of this equipment is. If you know, let us know. But I did see that there were some different ones, kind of a queen bee, and every neighborhood had one of these, one with a stinger on it, if you will. And this one looked like the king. So I wanted, or the queen, if you will. So I wanted to find out what this one looked like. And yeah, surprisingly, I got my best scores. 323 megabits per second. So uh, we still don't know whose equipment's up there. Uh, we can assume that it's obviously T-Mobile because we're getting some good ones there. But without buying a phone, you know, people want to know, hey, I have one of these in my neighborhood whose equipment's up there right now you kind of have to uh well you have to guess and hope because we did have a good program we found which was network cell info but that does 4g equipment and this 5g stuff is not on that map yet so uh we're still looking but hey i'm interested to know what kind of scores you get and what what type of uh tower you, you measured against whether it was an a b or c and uh i gotta say i'm pretty impressed with these speeds uh, 323 megabits per second was unheard of before on a portable device. It's not just about downloading programs. I'm kind of curious. What do you think we're going to be able to do with this stuff? Uh, what are the next applications? Whoever thought we'd be streaming video on our phones and now it's commonplace. What are we going to do with 300 megabit? Anyway, guys, uh, put your comments down below. It's always good to hear. And I love the, uh, well, the enthusiasm you guys have and the creativity uh, sometimes it just blows me away. So uh, let's give it a shot and see what we get. Hey guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Talk to you soon.